Hey Crafty Mavens, it's Vanessa here with a scrap lift layout. And this is the layout that I decided to scrap lift. It is by a Kim, and I won't try to pronounce her last name, but I found this layout on Paige Evans' Facebook group, and I loved it, and so I decided to recreate it. So I am also using one of Paige Evans' free cut files from that Facebook group. So all that information will be linked below. And the first thing here I am showing you is just all the different things that I pulled for this layout. And I went ahead and took that free cut file and cut out the ornaments from that cut file. And I'm going to go ahead and back each of those ornaments on that red piece of pattern paper that you see there. And I'm just going to show you here um, a bit of how I do that. I just put the glue on the back of the cut file and put it down on the paper and then I will take my scissors and cut out around the edge so that my entire cut file is backed. And I'll proceed to do that with the other two as well. Next, I am going to create the branches that go along the top of the layout and on mine I used my Big Shot and a Tim Holtz die and it's a set that has multiple different kinds of branches so I picked the one that I sort of thought was the closest to the one Kim had used and I'm just going to go ahead and do I think two of them on camera and then I do cut a whole lot more off camera but this is basically what I'm using to make that large branch that the ornaments hang from on the layout and again like I said I will have all the links to all of this in the description box below so you can definitely go back and reference Kim's layout it is beautiful and I will also have obviously Paige Evans Facebook group so that if you want the cut file um, you can also get it there Paige puts out free cut files and so I'm just gonna finish doing this branch and then on Kim's original layout um, she had what looked like snow on the branches and I believe when I was looking at her layout I think she had mentioned that she used white embossing powder and that would definitely be one way to do it I am just because I didn't have my embossing powder close by I just took some white acrylic paint and some water and a paintbrush and I am just going to splatter that on those branches just to make it look like they have some sort of light fallen snow on the branches. Um, you can definitely use white paint, um, any sort of embossing powder, anything like that just to get if you wanted that snowy sort of look on your branches. So here you see I've got my branches complete, I've got my ornaments complete, and now I am going to, just like on Kim's original layout, she distressed the edges of her background, I am going to do the same thing. Now I don't have one of those actual distress tools, so I am just taking my scissors and I'm just scraping the edge of my scissors along the corners or the edges of my background paper. So it's definitely one way to do that distressed look. If you don't have the tool, just use your scissors. It works just as well. And so now I'm going to start by matting my photos. Just like Kim, I have three photos on this layout and they are of my daughter. And this was from a couple of years back. She was still, she was about nine or 10 here. And <clears throat> she, had wanted well she would have loved to have had a phone but we thought she was a little too young to, to have a phone and so we decided to get her an iPod and so this was her big gift that Christmas and so she was opening it up and when she realized what it was she was very excited you know is one of those things where it's kind of like a phone she could talk to her friends on it and so you know she was definitely feeling very grown up and so these are the pictures of her realizing what it is when she's opening it and so my pictures are of my little one and Kim's pictures are adorable if you go and look at that layout the, the baby is just adorable so her pictures definitely trump mine for sure but um, I loved 
I love this layout for the fact that I can put three photos on it too. I'm usually just a one photo scrapbooker, so this one was a fun one to recreate. Now I am going to just show you here how I put everything together. I don't glue it all down on camera, but I did want to show you how I go ahead and put the entire layout together. And here is my title and my title I am actually going to put at the top of my layout. I do so I do change things slightly from the scrap lift for the scrap lift, but I stay other than that pretty close to the original. And my title is Pure Joy because that's what it was. And I did have to create that E from a, I took a, a one and cut it down to create the the rest of that E. I only had F's left on my sticker sheet, so I went and put that together and here I am just going to sort of lay everything out and then I will glue everything down off camera and then show you the final bits and pieces that I put on this layout to complete it. And I do apologize guys for my voice. I My Christmas present this year <laughs> has been to get a cold along with everyone in my family. So it has been a bit of a, <laughs> a rough couple of days, but hopefully my voice isn't too bad to get through this video and so there you see I also like the scrap lift went ahead and took my Martha Stewart snowflake punch punched some snowflakes from a piece of pattern paper and I put those at the top I will put some more as well down at the bottom in amongst the pictures now that flare that you just saw me put down that does not actually stay you'll see here in a second I do move it and I'm just kind of auditioning and putting just little bits and pieces of the puffy stickers and wood veneer that I showed at the beginning that I thought I would use on this layout. Kind of just putting it in different places and kind of trying to mimic the same clusters that Kim had on her layout. Now I am going to sort of audition or try to decide which color twine that I'm going to use for my ornaments and ultimately I decide to go here with the black. I liked the contrast that I get with the black twine for each of the ornaments so I do go ahead and do that and then I will cut away and glue everything down and show you everything glued down. So there you see I've glued my background to that black piece of pattern paper, put the ornaments on everything is glued down the tag at the top which was not on the original scrap lift is where my journaling is going to go and to finish it up I am going to add these little word stickers from Tim Holtz I'm going to go through and add a few more of these puffy stickers and as a finishing touch I will add some sequins in green and red and so guys, if you are enjoying this video, please make sure that you subscribe and like this video and come back and see all the other Crafty Mavens and their layouts every day. I also will have my YouTube video link down below. So if you're enjoying any of my process videos, feel free to jump over to my channel and you can always watch some of my other process videos. And so here you see, I am just going to finish it up with these sequins. I, I like the little added sparkle that these give. Kind of looks like little, maybe little berries in the branches of the tree. And with that, I will have still photos at the end of this video. And guys, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.